Yeah, that's what I think. All right, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hanging out with the newest and latest fucking greatest band, O'Barris, from Northern Virginia. You guys fucking rock. Um, I've been following you guys since you guys started, and uh, this is just fucking awesome. The melodic metal does not have a scene around here. I'm really happy you guys finally came out and did this for us out here in fucking Richmond. So we got Amir Kazim, we got Justin, and Sir... Jay Wood Jakowski. Jay Wood Kikowski. He's got to do the fucking full name. Where's your house That's, key is what we said. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, you got to say the middle uh, name. I'm so glad to fucking meet you guys finally. Uh, you know, I've downloaded your album like the moment it fucking came out. You guys are awesome. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about your influences, Amir. I mean, like, you're such a, you know, melodic metal artist. I really like your style. Tell me a little bit about your influences. I will just say that we all feed off of each other, first of all. So we're kind of like a combination of, of, of one melodic kind of put together. Because just work together uh, real good. We got your Opeth signature yeah, I've got, sure. I've got, you know, my guitar is an Opeth signature, Michael Rackerfield, so I'll say they're my number one. Very cool. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, European bands, Capitonia. Right. Um, you know, some, some of the American stuff. Justin introduced me to, to, you know, some American stuff, like I'm God and all that, you know, three, four years ago. So, I'll, I'll say, but number one would be Opeth. Yeah. Very cool. And Justin, man, you got some really cool melodic lyrics, too. I mean, you very fit well within the band. I mean, like, I, I enjoy hearing your lyrics. You got a good transition between the scream and, you know, the regular singing. I like it. Um, it's definitely new. It's different. I like it. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about what, you know, what you like about your band like and stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been all about, like, Pantera and stuff. And as far as those, uh, you know, screaming, singing things go and in flames, huge influence for me. Nice. Old in flames uh, or new in flames? Oh hell, I love all of it. I gotta admit, I know everyone loves to knock the new influence. Hey, well so they got the they got that new metal thing going on, so you know you for can, sure. And yeah. I, I was also a new metal fan growing up. Uh, you know, mostly '90s stuff, and uh, you know, I got into Mudvayne. I was all about. Of it. course, when Dig came out. That was just funny. Man, you gotta have your roots, especially when it comes um, to this metal stuff, man. I know, you know it. Um, and then working with these guys, it's a lot of different melody influences that I just fucking dig, especially instrumentally. I am all about like all kinds of I, yeah, like totally. That, so, I, I like trying to bring it all together, for sure. Instrumentals hooked me with you guys, like seriously. I and mean, you work very closely with Amir. I mean, you guys like have some serious stuff going on together. So I, I, I really appreciate y'all's music. Tell me a little about your influences, too. How'd you, how'd you guys end up getting together, you know, specifically? Well, actually, uh, one of my friends, uh, who I've been doing music stuff with for a while, he used to be the bass player in our band. He kind of brought everyone together. And uh, he's not with us right now, but we, we're still on good terms. But, yeah, he brought, kind of brought us together, and then he ran into Amir, and then brought Amir in, and then things kind of went off from there. Uh, as far as like my influences go, uh, I would say Opeth is also probably one of my favorites. But Very cool, that's why you guys a, jive. Like. So, for a different, so, so I can give a different answer, I'll say Darkest Hour. Yes! Uh, yeah, Darkest Hour is probably one of my biggest influences. Uh, Threat Signal, Soil Work. Soil Work? Of, like the uh, Mlog, Great Mlog, that little band's in flames. Very cool. Dark Tranquility. Dark Tranquility, like I was about to say, like two two of the things that really brought me into you guys was, you know, In Flames, Dark Tranquility, and uh, I mean, just, those two things just really go hand in hand, so I'm really glad you guys came out to Richmond. Um, it's been a blast hanging out with you guys. Thanks for letting me hang out in the pit and uh, Thank you you have some good time with you guys. So, like, Chris Riptide Ridge Productions and Oberis. Check them the fuck out. <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks you guys so much for coming out. Shit, I think I broke my hip in that last one. Yeah, oh, dude. Genosha fucking killed it, dude.